Last night, President Trump addressed the nation on the broader ongoing effort to slow and mitigate the spread of the virus here on American soil. As I've noticed, if I, as I've noted before, the administration's early proactive measures to re repatriate U.S. citizens and restrict travel from China bought more time for public health professionals to prepare our response. And the funding measure that Congress passed last week is sending an infusion of new funding into, the, into laboratory research, frontline medical care, and everything in between. With those critical steps already taken, this week brought a further opportunity to help communities and families face the economic effects of the virus spread. But unfortunately, it appears at this hour that the Speaker and House Democrats instead chose to produce an ideological wish list that was not tailored closely to the circumstances. One is reminded of the famous comment from President Obama's first chief of staff, you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. Instead of focusing on immediate relief to affected individuals, families, and businesses, the House Democrats chose to wander into various areas of policy that are barely related, if at all, to the issue before us. So instead of working within existing law and within existing systems to deliver targeted relief as efficiently and effectively as possible, the Speaker's proposal would stand up a needless thicket of new bureaucracy. They would task offices like the Social Security Administration with standing up brand new bureaucracy that would delay the delivery of aid to those who need it. As currently drafted, the proposal appears to impose permanent unfunded mandates on businesses that could cause massive job losses and put thousands of small businesses at risk. <clears throat> the administration was ready to collaborate. The Senate was ready to seriously consider a compromise product but it appears that over in the House, left-wing political messaging may have taken priority over the needs of our country. Certainly, this is disappointing. I want to commend Secretary Mnuchin for his efforts and his continued conversations. At a minimum, I hope that Senate Democrats will not block potential requests from our colleagues today to pass smaller, non-controversial pieces of legislation right away that would bolster particular aspects of the fight against coronavirus. But the good news, Mr. President, is that our nation's economy remains strong. <clears throat> the President is continuing to take action himself. We just passed billions, billions, in urgent funding just last week. And the Senate will continue to stand ready and willing to work toward further bicameral bipartisan actions when the House Democrats decide to get serious. 